Hey, boy. My, my, the reticent cowboy. Hello? I... you never told me your name. Jim. Milt. John. Marston. Which? John Marston. Long story. I'm a writer. I love stories. Ah, <laughs> uh, another time. Guess I'm as big a fraud as you claim to be. I'm trying, John. My wife didn't understand. Doesn't understand. The parish priest has taken to writing me missives about the exact nature of my sins. The parish priest! Can you imagine? Oh, what a petty-minded lot they are. I was attracted by my fraudulent fame, by the idea of me as some kind of provincial seer. Oh, makes me sick. But here, I live like a man. I'm feeble, but alive. <laughs> I'm a man! For the first time in my life, I'm a man. Okay. Or... I'm still a coward, but a real man would happily die rather than live as I do. Uh, I don't know about that. We... <laughs> we're all scared of something. Something within us. But me? I'm nothing but fear. Fear and doubt and lies. Just a glimpse of how other men have coped and lived and survived and flourished. There are days when I sit here and weep about all the things that I've lost. We've lost. We true Americans. We peasants. We are killing this place, John Marston. Killing what? This. This great beauty. This truth. What are you talking about? Come. Let me show you. Where are we headed? Prepare to be shocked. Come along. Follow me. Unless you're showing me Bigfoot, you should know. <laughs> I'm not so easily shocked, Mr. Miller. But you will be. Wait until you see the waste, the boundless appetites of these men. I know you will be horribly shocked because I see that frontier spirit in you. The self-reliance, the harmony with nature that us, us modern men have so lamentably lost. I hate to spoil your impression of me, but I've been known to eat from a can just as often as from my gun. You are not perfect. No, sir, none of us is. Oh, no. Up there. The poor creature is caught in a bear trap. John, can you do something? Uh, let me see. The cruelty of it. If you could pry it open, it may recover. Easy there. Let me try and get you out of this. Those contraptions. They are unforgiving and indiscriminate. You did it. It's free. A second chance at life. Maybe. As long as that wound don't go bad. <sighs> Still, better to die free than in the jaws of a machine. Now, come on. We have further to ride. The men I'd like to show you, they could have set that trap. Hunters? I've seen hunters, sir. Like I said, I've been one myself. Hunting for food or skins is one thing. But dredging rivers, burning out forests, killing everything you find, and leaving all but the most valuable parts to rot, that is who these men are. They are the rapaciousness of our financial markets let loose in the wilderness. A sign that our way of life has come to an end. I see plenty of those signs. Look, here they are. I will speak to them. Are you sure that's a good idea? You men are heathens, ignoble savages. Animals! Shit! Look! Look at what What's you... What's your problem? You... 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 Oh. you. Oh. Huh? Uh.
was clarity, John. <laughs> this, this place, this is heaven and hell. The duality. I think you got hit on the head. Come on, let's get you out of here before more of them show up. But I think we've made our point. Now, come on, let's go.
Fellers? Howdy there, friend. Every time I flip my head off, they look at me like I'm talking to the Chinese. <laughs> well, that's because you have to say it more like water. I'm not saying it like that. Hey! Sounds dumb. Hand it over before someone gets hurt. Give me Stop that bell! Hands no. off! He's got no. Take your hands off! Oh, oh. Now you're dead. You just leave me alone. You beat me to it, sir. We really can't thank you enough. Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. Bollocks till the cows come home.
Mister? Howdy, partner. Get settled, boy. Hola. Made enough money for the week already? How you do? I hope you're looking for another bounty, because we're after that outlaw on the wall there. Fellas been going into construction yards in the night, taking tools and the like. All kinds of folks is angry about this one, right up to City Hall. Standing in the way of progress, they say. Hmm. <laughs> Zeisendorf, is it? That's how he says it. I thought he was a nice feller, respectable. The Germans usually are, but not this one. You know the man? I do. Caught him selling stolen tools, and I was persuaded he'd been had. We're sure we've got our man now, though, and we're sure he'll strike again. Okay, I'm glad. Cause I ain't never sure of anything. Oh, uh, thanks for the information. I'd appreciate it if you curb Hello your there. upper instincts. Poster says alive. Hey there, puss. What's going on in there? Huh? I got you, Sizendorf. I didn't do anything. Hey, I'm away. Make sure you can't run off anywhere else. Oh, you really don't need to do that. Mind if I check your pockets? I am a respected business person. Um, think about it. Did you really see anything? It was dark, many shadows. The frame of the building was in your way. It was like taking something, me, a respectable fellow, an upstanding citizen, or was I tying my shoe? This is the police station. You might need a rest. This is an embarrassing mistake. 
my good name will be ruined. Shut it. Caught this one dead to rights, didn't I, Mr. Zeisendorf? Mr. Chief, I took a wander through construction. It's a mistake. Enough of you. Put that German in the cage. Innocent until proven. Quiet. There, there. Settle in. You got your man, and here's your money. If only they was all like this. A crime is a crime, and a criminal's a criminal. We can't discriminate. I saw that. You were paid to give false testimony. But this won't hold up in court. The evidence is purely circumstantial. Herman, will you quiet yourself? drunk and ended up in the damn lake. Almost drowned. Hey, partner! Mister? How'd you do? They hung that fella who stole a bag of flour from the general store. I guess that's one way to cure a man of hunger. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Welcome. Hi there. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And... Which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north, so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. <laughs> Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? 
It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble? Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word to get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls? That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. But I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. Let's go take a look down in the valley. I ain't sharing mine. Anything? Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. They'll be there somewhere. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And 
That big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. Let's go, boy. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. your chance. Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We 
ain't sticking no more. Look out! What's it look like? Get him up there! Come on! Meet the horse! Uh. It didn't work out for you! I got a feeling this time will be different, Finley! You ain't gonna get this out of work. I know it as well as any other. Oh, shut your noise!
where you're going. At least you know get this out goes. here. Come on. to relieve myself there'll be a bucket in your cell <sighs> i'm serious yep and so am i hit him john please hey you don't need to do that just because she told you to i don't need to be hit i just want to be treated civil shut it you heard the lady thank you i still protest my innocence this woman ripped me out of my bed kidnapped me then let langton kidnap me then you killed them all and kidnapped me back I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How did work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there... You didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Paid you for that bounty. Uh, it don't I hate you for special <sighs> treatment. That's your cell at the end there. Damn you! Uh, uh, We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. 
Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. That's just how it goes here. Gentlemen? You made enough trouble here already, all right? There's more money to be made in Blackwater. I see you. Hold on. Small something to do. You amazing animal.
Mr. Abel's thugs, been wanting us to sign our land over. Only this time they... I escaped, but they... They have my husband. They're gonna kill him. Abel's thugs, huh? Where are they? It's the stone farmhouse back there where I came from. I'll head there now. I'll see about finding more help. Sign this over. I'm going to take a long time on you. You trust to it. You got to do it. You see, we're used to a fight more cooperation than you're offering. Shit! Hey, untie me, will you? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Those goddamn bastards deserve that and more. My wife. You seen my wife by any chance? Yeah, I saw her. West of here. She told me to come find you. Oh. Oh, thank God. But thank you for hearing her call. Where are you? My dearest? Show him, boy.
Settle. 